Are you Ernie Trask? Do I look like him? If I knew, I wouldn't ask, but I'd bust her. Are you Ernie Trask? I said, are you Ernie Trask? Illiterate. You read no papers? Are you aware of nothing? I am the shark man. Wow. Sorry, shark. Buddy, can you tell me where I can find Ernie Trask? Ernie, the hero reporting for duty. Well, how are you, Ernie? If you have another medal for me, you can put it right here. That's the spot. Not peppermint. Reach for refreshment. Reach for Beech Nut Peppermint Gum. And Pittsburgh Plate Glass Company, PPG, present tonight's Michael Shane. One out of two adults is overweight. And because overweight not only detracts from appearance, but impairs health and shortens life, your physician is your best counsel on weight control. Metrical was developed to help solve this problem, to help you lose weight and avoid regaining it. And now, Metrical is available in new liquid form, ready to drink. Simply open, pour and drink. Each can is a low calorie meal. Metrical liquid can be taken anywhere because it can be stored before opening with or without refrigeration. Delicious by any standard, pleasing in texture without sacrificing high protein content or appetite satisfaction. Your diet is easier to live with because Metrical fits into the way you live. Try Metrical in new liquid form. Metrical, the established product with clinically proven safety and effectiveness. Call himself the clown. Do anything for a laugh. Although he wasn't very funny. Last night he called some chick he was the shark man. You're the shark man. Uh, that is correct. Well, we can do this without the accent. Sir, it is genuinely authentic. Well, the speed swimmer outside, the killer asked him and then you, right? I did not observe him speak with Flash. But when he found out I was not Ernie, he went to that poor man. But then you must have got a good look at him. I saw all. How the clown smiled and pushed out his chest and... I could not believe what I saw. What did he look like? Hmm. Suit. Ty, average. Too average to be identified if you saw a picture of him? Ah, when I look, I see daily. I exercise my powers of perception. Well, let's hope you're in shape. When this man gets dressed, take him down for a look at the mugshots. Oh, I'd say you came up lucky, Trask. I told him I'd bring him luck. Who are you? We were talking backstage when it happened. I'm his manager. Maybe you don't hear too well. I fired you. I told him to get lost yesterday. He doesn't work. He never has. But when Paley comes around, he's up with the birds. Hello, Lieutenant. Sergeant. Ernie and I have had a little differences, but we did agree on one thing. A signed contract. I don't need you, Hal. If you start pushing, I'll push you back. That's it for the time being. I'll be in touch, Mr. Owen. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's the word, absolutely, and thanks for the help. You're welcome. All right. Any idea who might want you out of the way? Look, if I knew who it was, I'd go looking for him myself. You can count on another try when he finds he hit the wrong man. Now I'll send somebody home with you. I don't need any nursemaid, Sarge. Honest, I'm a big boy now. I can take care of myself. All right, Ernie, you're tough. I know it. Everybody knows it. But that won't stop a bullet. Look at me. I'm all shook up. Look, Sarge, I don't need your advice or protection. I'm going to walk out of here all alone. Okay? I'm not afraid of that guy. Ernie. He's not afraid of you either. Hey, Mac. Ernie got 
lucky, huh? Joe, how do you find out so much so fast? I was here. I came to see Ernie take his high dive. I heard it was a great act. I guess it pays or he wouldn't be doing it. That's right. Like his book and his movie and his refereeing fights. It's a living, I guess. That's living? You're one of the country's number one heroes. You cash in on it. Well, maybe so, but it must be rough for a guy that hits the top when he's 21 and has to keep proving he isn't a fluke. But he's still the hero. Navy Cross, Medal of Honor, you name it, he's got it. Joe, has the city dust got your story yet? Beat the town. And now I want to do a follow-up. What it's really like for an ex-Korean war hero. Well, you better catch up to him before somebody else does, or you'll be writing his obituary. They still don't answer. I don't know, Marcella. You insist upon getting yourself involved with these bizarre characters. Someone tried to murder the man I'm going to marry, and that's all you can say. You're not even worried about him. I'm worried, but not about Ernie. I'm worried about you. This time, it means something. It really means something. Mm -hmm. They all meant something. Not a scratch. I heard it on the radio. I've been so worried. Look at me. I'm fine. She called the box office a dozen times in the last hour. I just left the aquacade. Police, questions. See, I can really use a drink. Help yourself. Tell me about it. Was it exciting? What did you do first? What did the police say? They offered me protection. There seems some nutman headline hunting and I'm it. Hurry up, honey. We're late. Just a minute. You're not going out with them tonight. What do you mean I'm not? Take it easy, Marcia. Now, supposing the gunman is still after him. Until he's caught, anyone out with him will be in danger. That's why I'm not taking you out tonight. But I just wanted to go up to the sportsman's lounge. I'm sure you can do without the sportsman's lounge for one night. Sure you can. But when will I see you again? I'll drop by tomorrow. By then, the police will probably have him. Take care of yourself. And don't you worry. I will, but there's not much I can do about it. Good night, honey. Mr. Colby? his neck out. Hi. Hi. You still in there? Yeah, he's been there about an hour. Is that his car? Yeah. What are those two doing with the uh, mud books? That shark man, he's making a project out of every picture. Why don't you take off? I'll take over. I'm not tired. Sure. Wouldn't it be nice to see your girl for a change? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mac. <laughs> they did a good job, you know? I mean, that picture was pretty close to the way it really was in Korea. Yeah, I saw it twice. Boy, I'll never forget the way you swam through that burning oil and you took on those five guys with your bare hands. I can see me doing it. <laughs> I can see me sitting in a bar when somebody who tried to kill me is running around loose. <laughs> Boy, you, you've got it. Just no fortitude's all I gotta say. Nothing on me, Ernie. No, thanks. I really got a shovel on. Oh, no, no, no. Bartender, another for my old buddy, Ernie Trask. <laughs> thanks, I'll take a red check out. Oh, oh, say, say, I, I wonder if you'd give my son your autograph. He'd get a big kick out of it, you know?
late. Anything I can do for you? A girl I once knew, Eileen Neal. You helped her out of a jam once. Oh, yes, I remember. Sit down. Thanks. I'm Ernie Trask. I know, I recognized you. Do you always work this late? Oh, sometimes. Is that uh, what you came to see me about? No. Somebody wants to kill me. So I hear. But uh, aren't the police working on that? Yeah, but they haven't been able to find them yet. Besides, I think there are two of them now. Well, then that makes two good reasons you ought to be in protective custody instead of coming to me. I don't need any cops wiping my nose. Okay, if you'd rather pay for protection. And I don't need any protection either. Just find out who's been gunning for me. All right. What happens then? I'll take over from there. Now, you, uh, you don't want the police in it. Nope. I'm just a finger man, is that right? That's right. You got yourself a job. Now, how much? Well, to start, say, uh, 500. Okay. Well, where do I begin? I hear you're pretty good. You got Eileen out of the jam. Yeah. Well, let's get on to business. Where are we going? Put you up in my apartment? That doesn't seem very smart. What happened when they find out I hired you? Now, wait a minute. When you came in, you said that's exactly what you wanted. No police protection, no protection from me. Just point them out. I'll do the rest. That's what you said. That's right. Look, Shane, what are you trying to pull? Nothing. I'm just saying that your way is right. I'll smoke them out, and you handle them. Yeah, that's what I want. No, it isn't. Look, I can't take money under false pretenses. You don't need me. You can handle this yourself. Look, Shane, just what do you want? I'll tell you what I don't want, and that's to be played for a sucker. Here, take it. But I hired you. Sure, to stand between you and a bullet. That's what it amounts to, doesn't it? Oh, no, Trask, get yourself another boy. What's the matter, Shane? You afraid? Well, certainly. Look, Ernie, I haven't had your training. You're the big hero. All right, Shane, I'll admit the truth. I need help. I'm scared. Usual. Yes, sir. Coming right up, sir. Ah, beech nut peppermint gum. That's right, partners. If it's real refreshment you want, just order up some beech nut peppermint gum. Yes, sir. Beech nut peppermint gum gives you real double barrel enjoyment. That's because it's made from fresh and fragrant mint leaves. Their tantalizing aroma and freshness make beech nut peppermint so tempting, cool, delicious. That fine mint flavor makes beech nut peppermint so refreshing, so satisfying to your taste. Beech nut peppermint gum. The gum that sparkles your smile, your breath, your whole sense of enjoyment. Look for it at your favorite gum counter and reach for beech nut. I'm sorry. We never were going to your place, were we? Nope. Just testing. Well, you sure can't be sweating it out. I always like to know what I'm getting into. That's what I'm going to do right now. Okay. And, uh, take it easy on this stuff. There won't be any more till I get back. You mean you're going out while I stay cooped up here? That's right. Nobody comes in, not even the maid. And you don't make any phone calls or answer unless it rings, stops, and rings again. That'll be me. You want any air, open the window. Oh, Shane, you're treating me like a six-year-old. Oh, now let's not get into that again. Look, I know you'd like to parade around to show how brave you are, but just ask yourself how many of those bar flies would come to your funeral. got enemies. I don't know. Now, oh, come on, come on. Everybody's got enemies. We just want to know which one hates you enough to put a slug in you. Now, start thinking. Well, it's not easy thinking of people who are going to shoot you. I bet you never heard anything like that in your whole life. <laughs> Mister, you take the cake. Yeah, isn't that something? I report an appointment like that and I see the wrong guy. And your boss ain't going to fire you. No, no. You see, I'm the only one that can do the job right. 
I didn't start out like no ball of fire. It's not how you start out, sunshine. It's all in the way you finish. You got him hold up there? Don't print that, Joe. And when I see McCord? Don't tell him a thing. Has he got a lead on that gunman yet? Uh, they're still trying. Well, why'd you call me? To help me dig. Six names. Each one with a reason for hating Ernie Trask. I thought he was popular. Sometimes that's the reason a man's hated. Mike, how do you figure it? If the killer knew Ernie, he wouldn't have hit the wrong guy. Well, that's what we've got to find out. Okay, where do I start? Right at the beginning. Back to the day when Trask first became a hero. Now, here's what I want Joe you to... Joe Demarest? You told me over at the paper you'd be here. I'm Hal Olin. I saw you talking to that detective outside the dressing room last night. Mr. Olin, Mike Shane. Glad to meet you. Hi. This is sort of private. Well, if it's about your friend Trask, you can count me in. He's a client of mine. Working for him, huh? Well, sure. It figures. Running true to form. Scared stiff. Buys a private detective to hold his hand. You got him tucked in at your place? What do you mean, uh, running true to form? Well, that's what I came to see him about. I've got a story. Ernie Trask. Broad. He's no hero and never was. I ought to know. I was in Korea with him. Naturally, you've got a price for this story. Free. Absolutely free, gentlemen. Now, I did everything Ernie was supposed to have done, except I was an enlisted man and he was an officer. Well, that's not a new story. Uh, but it's true. Well, what's it have to do with the trouble he's in now? Nothing. I'm just fed up. That's the size of it. I've been a friend. A good friend. I wrote most of that book of his. I was the agent in these jobs he got playing a hero. I got him started the Aquacate. I built him up, and now he figures he doesn't need me. He wants to brush me off. So you want to get even now? No. I just want the truth. It's about time people knew. Why not? Well, look, I've got an appointment. Why don't you meet me in my office at about three? Sure. And like I said, I'm not looking for any money. Bye. Nice guy. Hmm. With friends like that, who needs enemies? What about the rest of the names on this list? Well, she's not on it, but Ernie goes with a girl named Colby. Marcella Colby. Ross Colby's daughter? Mm -hmm. hey, he's traveling in a fast company. Well, I'm going to have a little talk with him. See you later, Joe. <laughs> against the handball wall. I got a tennis court, but my daughter doesn't play. Now then, what can I do for you? As a matter of fact, I came to see your daughter. I'll right, be down in a minute. Care for a drink? No, thanks. Not right now. What do you want to see Marcy about? I'm a private detective. It's all right, Daddy. I talked to Mr. Shane on the phone. He didn't waste any time getting here, Mr. Shane. Marcella Colby. Miss Colby? Marcy, if you're a friend. Well, as I told you, I represent Ernie Trask. Does that make me a friend? Where is he? Is he all right? He's safe enough. I don't care where he is as long as he stays away from my daughter. You can understand my concern for her safety. Yes, yes, I can understand. No, oh, Ernie's a nice young man, but I object to having Marcy in the line of fire. That's the story of my life, Mr. Shane. Overprotected and underloved. I'm sure Mr. Shane isn't amused by your cocktail lounge humor. Do uh, either of you have any idea who might have taken a shot at Ernie? Why not ask Ernie? Well, he gave me some names, but uh, I thought he might have missed one or two. Oh, why do you say that? Most of us hate to admit that people hate us. Could have been a crackpot. Ernie's been in the headlines a good deal. Yes, that's possible, but I'm trying to find someone who might have had a motive. Is Hal Olin on your list, Mr. Shane? Among others. Oh, me? No, I doubt it. H. Ross Cole. Hardly. How about Carter Lamont? I forgot about him. What about Lamont? A member of the weasel class. Last reported in the import-export business. Ernie almost killed him last week. What? You'll have to ask Ernie or Lamont himself. 
I only know that Lamont's lawyer called here threatening to prosecute for assault and battery. I persuaded him to drop the idea. Why did he call you? It's no secret my daughter's engaged to any. The persuasion was a payoff, Mr. Shane. Ten thousand dollars. That adds up to a lot of persuasion, Mr. Colby. He's going to be my son-in-law. Marcy has persuasive powers of her own. What Daddy means is I have money of my own. Can you think of anyone other than Lamont or Owen? Not that I know of. Well, thank you very much for your time. Don't let Ernie do anything foolish, Mr. Shane. He can get stubborn. Give him my best. And tell him to take care of himself? That's what he hired me for. Or selling. Neither. Is Mr. Lamont in? Nope. My name's Josie. Bet you thought it was Mei Lee. Oh, were you doing more looking than thinking? Oh, a little of both. You're not a cop, are you? No. Nope. Well, that's a point in your favor. Mr. Lamont doesn't like me talking to cops. He says I run off at the mouth. A certain charm about honesty. It's a side of me he doesn't appreciate. Josie, is he here? Mr. Lamont, he's playing golf. Honest. Well, good for him. Like, don't put me on that. Who are you? What do you want? I told you, Lamont. And I told you, he isn't here. Well, in that case, I'm sure you won't mind if I take a look for myself. She's uh, cute, but she's not much of a liar. I'm Mike Shane. Yeah, I've heard about you. This is Mr. Seagreen. He talks every other day. Come back tomorrow. I won't be here then either. I understand you had a little trouble with Ernie Trask. <laughs> you hear that, Seagreen? I've had trouble with Ernie. Shane, if you check out everybody who's had trouble with that hothead, you're going to go through a lot of shoe leather. Was it you that took a shot at him? Or your uh, pal here? Not saying yes, not saying no. Tell Ernie that if you see him. And tell him I hope he sweats while he's waiting to find out. Come on, let's go. Here's your coat. You too, Seagreen. What are you doing? Inviting you to play your little game with the police. Or you can save yourself the trouble and tell me the truth here. Well, there's not much to tell. <clears throat> I import and export a lot of things, sometimes as a favor. So I was doing a favor and needed somebody to run a boat. Ernie? That's right. I'm a gentleman. And I invite the man to dinner. That's the way I do business. Good food, champagne. He throws the drink in my face, knocks the table over, and breaks my arm. And just what were you trying to get him to do? That's none of your affair. But I'll tell you this. He didn't blow up because he's an honorable man. He knew I saw he had cold feet. I told him to go home and polish up his medals. So you threatened to sue him? Naturally. But I didn't think I'd have so much luck. Marcella Colby's got a real thing for Trask. $10,000 to keep Ernie's name pure. <laughs> Not bad, I'm sure. Lamont, I'd work on that story of yours. You know, you may have to tell it again. So it won't be a total loss. Why don't you buy something on your way out? Brightened up with a fresh new paint job? Well, brighten them up the quick, easy way with Pittsburgh Rubberized Wall Hide, the best wall paint you can buy. Rubberized Wall Hide goes on easy, dries in just 20 minutes to a tough, hard finish you can wash again and again. And here's exciting news it's Pittsburgh Paint's $100,000 Wall Hide contest. Grand prize two 1961 Rambler cars. 
Other prizes include Speed Queen washer dryers, Hardman Duo pianos, sets of Winfield China, Meeker handbags, and many more. Over 1,000 in all. And it's easy to enter, easy to win. Here's what you do. Get wall hide and tell us why you like it. For an entry blank and full details on this exciting $100,000 contest, see your Pittsburgh paint dealer. you remembered our code. What do you mean? Well, you seem to have a way of forgetting things. Well, what about Corley Lamont? Well, what did you hear about him? Well, then why'd you leave him off your list? Well, I didn't think he was too important. Listen, I'll decide who matters and who doesn't. Now, is there anyone else you don't think is important? No, nobody else. Okay, now just sit tight. I've got a couple of calls to make and I'll be over later. Okay, okay. Shark man. That's the man. Billy Jack Wells. You're sure? If I'm wrong, you're welcome to drown me. You are displeased? Thanks, we'll be in touch. If Wells is our man, we've got real problems. Why? He's a psycho. Joker's a pathological liar. Who, Roland? He takes credit for everything Ernie ever thought of. I've never seen a more jealous guy in my whole life. Jealous enough for murder? Well, he's green with it, but having the guts enough to pull a trigger is another thing. I'm looking for the Jason Optical Company. You know, glasses, binoculars. Got the wrong place. Roland even spent two months in the... I wonder if I could look in your phone directly. Sure. Go ahead. Help yourself. Thank you very much. So he's jealous and he lets everybody know it. Where did you say you had lunch? Well, what difference does that make? Look, I'm telling you, he could... I guess I have the wrong floor. Thank you very much. Anyway, I checked with the Navy. Mike, before a guy gets the Medal of Honor, there has to be enough testimony to paper these walls. I don't know who Olin thought he was fooling. Maybe he got some scandal sheet to print that stuff, just for shock value. He'd be risking a libel suit. Yeah, but he still wouldn't risk his neck for a murder. Where's Olin now? At his office. I called him and told him he was a liar, and he said, fine, he'd still fix Ernie. Wow. By telling the papers he's hiding behind you? Look, you get to Mac and tell him to pick up Olin on any charge. Vagrancy, shoplifting, anything. What's all the excitement? If that story hits the newspapers, it'll be on TV, and Ernie's got a TV set in his room. Hey, Mac. What's up? I ought to toss you out on your rear. What are you running at me for? Ernie Trask, under guard, a private detective. You knew all about that, didn't you? Ernie wanted it that way. Well, he's got it. He's got it real good. And so is Mike. I know Olin planted that story. And I'm having it picked up right now. You know what that is? An invitation to a killer. Fine chain, it says, and you've got Ernie. 
if I didn't write that story. I'm not saying you did. But where are they, Joe? Come on now, I'm not kidding. I want to know where they are. Not far. The 8th Street Hotel. We made the gunman, and he's a real beaut. This guy? I just saw him in Mike's office. Where is Mike now? I don't know. The hotel, I guess. Get on that phone and tell him to watch himself. be the Jason Optical Company. I say so. Raise your hand over your head very slowly. Now I say so. Turn around. Sorry, you've got the wrong number. In these cool caves, some of the world's greatest cheese ripens to perfection. Such fine, original flavor should be preserved in the wrap that keeps it best. Saran Wrap, the original quality plastic food wrap, is the best protection for all fine cheeses. The tight clinging ability of Saran Wrap locks in natural flavor and keeps out drying air as no other wrap can. Only Saran Wrap unwraps and rewraps so neatly you won't lose its protection. So when you buy fine cheese, buy the best protection for the part you don't use right away. Only Saran Wrap rewraps so easily. Fine foods deserve the one and only sparkling clear Saran Wrap, another fine product of the Dow Chemical Company. <laughs> Put your hands down. Now sit down. You uh, like to take chances, don't you? I got style. But you haven't got Ernie Trask. Now that's true enough. But I don't want you. If you try for me, or if you look like you're even thinking about it, I'll shoot both your eyes out. You want to watch fights? They're not on tonight. You're thinking about that phone call, aren't you? The good guys to the rescue. Boom, ba -do -doo, ba -do -doo, boom, boom. Well, I know the cops. They'll wind their sirens up so as not to hit any old ladies at crosswalks. And when I hear those sirens, you go. I don't know why I'm waiting. I know he's not coming back. You sure of that? But I'll bet if I turned you loose, you could find him in 10 minutes. <laughs> Possibly. All right. Let's be a team, huh? We're not uh, playing the same game. All right. Just remember that you're the one that said it. Oh. <laughs> sure hope you got paid in advance. Why? Or uh, was it just a down payment? Ten thousand to one, you'll never get your money if you kill me. Oh, I'll get my money. Two people killed and you still haven't got her any trap. Whoever hired you sure must be happy. Now, I don't know why. 
but I'm going to give you a break. Now, do you want it in the front or the back? Tell me something. Who did hire you? I hired myself, right? Right. I saw the situation, and I made the, the bid. You see, I'm not shy about talking to anybody. Why, I mingle with the best of them. I'm crazy, don't you? No. Sick. <laughs> he claims he sold somebody in the idea of killing Trask. Is that so? You bet your life I did. Like I said, I got style. When you get down there, call the ambulance. Frank, we're in trouble. I know somebody hired him, but I don't know who. You know where Ernie is now? Well, the way it looks to me, he must have phoned down for another bottle in the papers, and when he read them, he got loaded and left. Hello. This is Sergeant McCord, homicide. I know. Lady, I know. We're taking care of it. Now, get your call sheet for tonight. Yeah, 503. You know, you owe Joe a big one. He tipped me off. Yeah. Room service, right? And two others. I've got that. What? All right. Any incoming calls? Okay, thank you. And he made two outgoing calls. Highland 41923. And hey, that's Marcella Colby's number. Oh, do you know the other one? No. Well, we'll find out right now. Get me information. Operator, this is Sergeant McCord from the police department. Yeah, I want a address on Franklin 15768. Okay, thank you. The Sportsman's Lounge. You know, Ernie, you don't need any protection. Look, I'm fed up to hear with that kind of talk. What's the matter with you? Tell me something. Remember when we first met? Yeah. You sent me that note back in the dressing room. You look so wonderful diving off that tower. Is that what you told the wrestler and the bullfighter? I like to experience all sorts of things. And people. Anything wrong with liking people? Is that all I am to you, just people? Don't get stuffy, darling. Look, I just figured out something. You don't love me. You're in love with the headline. Would you keep quiet? People are staring. Well, you like people, remember? Let them stare. Hey, people! She likes you! I'm leaving. No, you're not. Hey, hi, Mr. Trask. Oh, hi. You like people? Sure, sure. You like me? Oh, gee, Mr. Trask, my boy's already got your autograph framed. Ernie, I'm going home. Oh, you're not. I'm taking you. Well, this is it. I've had it. I bet that's exactly what you said when you went into combat. You never quit, do you? Why should I? You've hurt me enough. Ernie. Ernie, I'm sorry. We've both said things we don't mean. Why don't you come in and, and we'll talk quietly. Please? Oh, I don't know. Ten minutes ago? Then you talked to them. Well, only for a few words. He didn't seem in such a very good mood. Loaded? <laughs> yeah, you might say that. How about her? Well, she seemed kind of mad about something. Huh? She uh, around here much? Yeah, she's she's sort of a fixture. You ever see her with anyone, you know, besides her? Well, just between you and me, she she wasn't a girl who was hard to know. Mac, that's our answer. Think she'd take up with a guy like Wells. Why not? Didn't he have style? Thanks. <laughs> oh, uh, make that a double. <laughs> and uh, put it on Ernie's bill.
You think that's the answer to everything, don't you? With us? It is. Well, that's your opinion. Ernie, Ernie, let's just go away. Go and be happy, just like that. Hmm? You're very difficult to get through to tonight. Well, you're not too easy to understand yourself, you know. That's the way I like it. No mystery, no fun. You know what I think? I think you're in this for kicks. Somebody's after my neck and you couldn't be happier. You were a long time discovering Marcy's idiosyncrasy. Unfortunately, I've had to live with it. Stay out of this, Father. I wish I could. I'm tired of cleaning up after you, Marcella. Very tired. Then don't bother. I can't very well do that. You see, Trask, you pinpointed it when you used the word kicks. Whenever Marcella can't find excitement, she manufactures it. Not anymore. Not for me, anyway. I'd wait. That'll be the police. I won't be able to help you this time. Ernie, don't listen to him. The man was murdered. I've got the proof. Right here. You've lied and cheated all your life. Don't try to deny this. Hold it right where you are, Jeff. That's your own daughter, Cole. You can't murder her. I'd prefer to think of myself as an executioner. This will be easier, Marcella. No judge, no jury, only me. He's mad. He's mad. He doesn't know what he's saying. No matter what she's done, you can't kill her. Perhaps you're right. But I won't know about that till the time comes. Please, please don't. Please. That's right. Cry. You cry, Marcella. Now think about the man in the aqua cave. You didn't give him much of a chance. Please, do something. You do something, Marcy. Tell them the truth. Everyone knows a man killed the clown. A man pulled the trigger, but he was hired to do the job, wasn't he, Colby? That's right. Tell them, Marcella. I don't know. I don't know. I always wanted a son. I would have settled for a son-in-law. But what did she bring home? A parade of freaks like this. And Billy Jack Wells. Yes, and him. He was a psychopath. He was uglier, but not too ugly for you to use. You don't know what you're talking about. Wells did. We got to him before he died. He lied. He lied to save her. You told me your daughter used her own money to buy out Lamont. If she wanted Ernie dead, why would she spend $10,000 to keep him out of jail? You always were trouble. Now I've got to do something. Something final. You said you didn't like freaks. How do you think you're going to look in front of all those people in the courtroom? I don't want to kill you, too, but I will. No. I didn't mean that. Please. I don't want to do this. No. I'll take it, Mike. Not a chance, baby. And don't worry, you won't be too lonely. You have your father's trial to look forward to. everything that goes with it. Real exciting. Come on, let's get you to a doctor. Fashion goes to your eyes the most heavenly eye makeup ever created. Exciting new shades of sky blue colors. Fashion's newest from Max Factor. Here are blues soft, blues deep, iridescence, azure, all the blues you need to cool the fiery shades of this spring's fashions. You'll wear sky blues by day for excitement. And you'll wear them by night for elegance. In your eyes with Max Factor's High Five Fluid Liner, Mascara Wand, Eyeliner Pencil, and Cream Eyeshadow, all in heavenly sky blue. Just one part of the wide, colorful I-61 collection by Max Factor. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know how you do it. One beautiful day after another, and you sit there working like that. No, oh, believe me, it isn't easy work. There's a Captain Trask to see you, Mike. Captain? Don't tell me he re-enlisted. How do you like it? Well, starting your own Navy? Yep. One old tub you can charter cheap. Look at some fish, get some sunshine, and some fresh sea air. Doesn't sound so exciting. Do for me. Who's your first mate? Nolan? Not a chance. He's probably out looking for another hero. Mike, thanks a lot. If there's ever anything I can do for you. Look, when's your shakedown cruise? Oh, I figure in about a day or two. But she's in pretty fair shape now. Well, what are we waiting for? Oh, uh, there's a couple leaks I didn't get around to yet. Uh, might need a little pumping. Pumping? I'll, uh, wave goodbye from the dock. Oh, now, where's your sense of adventure? Besides, what have you got to lose, even if it sinks? It's a great day for a swim. Come on. Look, fellas, I got a paper. I got a little work. You know, like, wow! Tension. Doctors know men who work under tension can have tension odor. But now comes an amazing new deodorant with a giant roller top that knocks out a man's tension odor. New men and break. Stroke for stroke break packs more power than any woman's roll-on. Until today, men have used this type deodorant. A woman may want delicate roll-ons like these. But a man wants break. Stroke for stroke, break with its giant roller top packs the power to knock out a man's perspiration in a way no woman's roll-on does. Yes, stroke for stroke, break packs more power, more protection than any woman's roll-on. Get new Men and Break, world's first man-sized deodorant. Here are some exciting moments from next week's Michael Shane mystery. Look, uh, does the name Myra Tarvo sound familiar to you? See what you can find out tomorrow, huh? Yeah, and I'll, uh, I'll see you then. You do approve of the flower arrangements, don't you? It's such a disadvantage not having a coffin as a centerpiece. But I've tried desperately to capture the essence, the spirit of Mr. Shane's personality. As a matter of fact, I can almost feel his presence right here in the room. Really? Hmm? Did I help any? Not enough. Tonight's Michael Shane was brought to you by Beech Nut Peppermint. A reach for refreshment. Reach for Beech Nut Peppermint Gum. And by Pittsburgh Plate Glass Company, PPG. Shane Mystery. Read the book and see the show again next week. This has been a Four Star Production.
Do I look like him? If I knew, I wouldn't ask, would I bust her? Are you Ernie Trask? I said, are you Ernie Trask? Illiterate. You read no papers? Are you aware of nothing? I am the shark man. Wow. Sorry, shark. Buddy, can you tell me where I can find Ernie Trask? Ernie, the hero reporting for duty. Well, how are you, Ernie? If you have another medal for me, you can put it right here. That's the spot. Nut peppermint. Reach for refreshment. Reach for beech nut peppermint gum. And Pittsburgh Plate Glass Company, PPG, present tonight's Michael Shane. One out of two adults is overweight. And because overweight not only detracts from appearance, but impairs health and shortens life, your physician is your best counsel on weight control. Metrical was developed to help solve this problem, to help you lose weight and avoid regaining it. And now, Metrical is available in new liquid form, ready to drink. Simply open, pour and drink. Each can is a low calorie meal. Metrical liquid can be taken anywhere because it can be stored before opening with or without refrigeration. Delicious by any standard, pleasing in texture without sacrificing high protein content or appetite satisfaction. Your diet is easier to live with because Metrical fits into the way you live. Try Metrical in new liquid form. Metrical, the established product with clinically proven safety and effectiveness. He called himself the clown. Do anything for a laugh. Although he wasn't very funny. Last night he told some chick he was the shark man. You're the shark man. Uh, that is correct. Well, we can do this without the accent. Sir, it is genuinely authentic. Well, the speed swimmer outside, the killer asked him and then you, right? I did not observe him speak with flash. But when he found out I was not Ernie, he went to that poor man. Well, then you must have got a good look at him. I saw all. How the clown smiled and pushed out his chest and... I could not believe what I saw. What did he look like? Suit. Tie. Average. Too average to be identified if you saw a picture of him? Ah. When I look, I see. Daily, I exercise my powers of perception. Well, let's hope you're in shape. When this man gets dressed, take him down for a look at the mugshots. Oh, I'd say you came up lucky, Trask. I told him I'd bring him luck. Who were you? We were talking backstage when it happened. I'm his manager. Uh, maybe you don't hear too well. I fired you. I told him to get lost yesterday. He doesn't work. He never has. But when Paley comes around, he's up with the birds. Hello, and Lieutenant. Sergeant. Ernie and I have had a little differences, but we did agree on one thing. A signed contract. I don't need you, Hal. If you start pushing, I'll push you back. That's it for the time being. I'll be in touch, Mr. Owen. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's the word, absolutely, and thanks for the help. You're welcome. All right. Any idea who might want you out of the way? Look, if I knew who it was, I'd go looking for him myself. You can count on another try when he finds he hit the wrong man. Now I'll send somebody home with you. I don't need any nursemaid, Sarge. Honest, I'm a big boy now. I can take care of myself. All right, Ernie, you're tough. I know it. Everybody knows it. But that won't stop a bullet. Look at me. I'm all shook up. Look, Sarge, I don't need your advice or protection. I'm going to walk out of here all alone, okay? I'm not afraid of that guy. Ernie, he's not afraid of you either. Hey, Mac, Ernie got lucky. 
lucky, huh? Joe, how do you find out so much so fast? I was here. I came to see Ernie take his high dive. I heard it was a great act. I guess it pays or he wouldn't be doing it. That's right. Like his book and his movie and his refereeing fights. It's a living, I guess. That's living? You're one of the country's number one heroes. You cash in on it. Well, maybe so, but it must be rough for a guy that hits the top when he's 21 and has to keep proving he isn't a fluke. But he's still the hero. Navy Cross, Medal of Honor, you name it, he's got it. Joe, has the city dust got your story yet? Beat the town. And now I want to do a follow-up. What it's really like for an ex-Korean war hero. Well, you better catch up to him before somebody else does, or you'll be writing his obituary. They still don't answer. I don't know, Marcella. You insist upon getting yourself involved with these bizarre characters. Someone tried to murder the man I'm going to marry, and that's all you can say. You're not even worried about him. I'm worried, but not about Ernie. I'm worried about you. This time, it means something. It really means something. Mm -hmm. They all meant something. 